much deeper than the wigwam test. At the moment of detonation, a bubble of hot steam would expand rapidly. In just a few seconds, it would cover an area of about one kilometer. On the surface, you'd see a massive bulge in the water, but it wouldn't reach great heights. That's because you would detonate the bomb so deep that the water pressure above would cause the bubble to collapse. But within a few seconds, that bubble would shrink, then start to expand outward again. This expansion and contraction would continue for three or four cycles. This would leave the water turbulent, hot, and mixed with radioactive debris. At least no neighboring coastal cities would have to worry about being wiped out by a tsunami. But you certainly wouldn't see the effects ending there. The increased temperatures from the explosion could create intense hurricanes. And the turbulent waters and radioactive material would have adverse effects on marine life. There would be mass casualties from the explosion, 